Hey guys, it's John with Rubly Custom Rods. And today um, I'm going to show you guys how to do a um, sequential colored um, fade wrap like you see here, um, just with you then three colors um, that are numerically um, one after the other. Um, and so the colors that I'm going to use for this demonstration um, are Pro Wrap Color Fast Thread, so um, NCP thread. Color codes 307, 313, and 316, which 307 is fuchsia, 313 is rose, and 316 is raspberry. Um, so what we're going to do, um, and you can see they're pretty similar just by looking back there in the back, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with 307, which is the fuchsia color. And we'll start giving this a wrap. So now that we got this started. <clears throat> and so why a, a sequential number fade wrap? Um, well, I mean, you know, uh, you can use any colors really for fade wrap. Ideally, you could, you'd want to use colors um, that were in the same color line. I think it's just going to give a different um, kind of complete fade to it. Um, and so, like, again, you can use any colors for your fade wrap. And I've, I've used a lot of different colors, um, whether they were complementary or not. Um, but what I'm trying to demonstrate here is just by using you know, or numerically sequential colors, um, you can really achieve a cool looking um, fade wrap, if you will. So we're just going to go ahead and get this started a little bit more. Cut that tag wrap off. And there's no method to the madness. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Of course, you know, a good thing to do is make some measurements. Um, and you know what? We're just going to do that because that's the right thing to do to help it make it look very, very even. Um, so let's say here and let's say we're going to go half inches. before we start the next one. So we're going to run this uh, fuchsia color all the way down to our half inch line, which won't take long at all. All right, so now that I'm starting to get there, the other thing I want to do is I just want to make a mark where our bottom line is going to be at. And now what I'm going to do, um, again, fuchsia is 307. And the next number um, sequentially after that is rose color, which is 313. And now I'm going to just take that rose color. I'm going to come in. And we're going to go ahead and secure that with some tape. And now what I want to do is just want to continue to lock that down with the fuchsia color. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take this rose color and I'm just going to make one pass, just like I've showed you in previous, you know, fade wrap videos. I'm going to just make one pass. Come underneath. And 
and come back over. Hold it there with my fingernail, pull that tight. And then what we're going to be doing, or what I want to do really, is give four wraps. And if you ever forget, you just back it off, of course. So that's one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to come back here with the rows. And now we're gonna make two passes. Come underneath, over, and then under that working end of your primary color, which is the fuchsia. Okay, come back. Put that down, now we're gonna pack our thread. So we got one. Two, and then this time three, which is one less than the first wraps we did. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back with my second color, the one I'm inlaying here, which is the rose, and I'm gonna make three wraps. And we'll do one more. Then I'll come back and we're gonna pull that line tight a little bit. Lock it down for a second. Come back in, pack your threads. Okay, and so you can see how that's starting to come out and it's a, it's a subtle blend, right? But uh, what I want to do is I want to back this one off. So I did, you know, one wrap with the rose, four wraps with the fuchsia, two wraps with the rose, um, three wraps with the fuchsia, three wraps with the rose. And now I'm going to do two wraps um, with the fuchsia. So I'm just going to back it off. And so there's one wrap on there. And there's two wraps. And now I'm going to come back and um, I am going to make four wraps with the rows. And then we're going to back that off again. And then pack the thread down. And 
And then we're going to back that off to where it's just one complete wrap. All right, there's one wrap right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and probably get about four wraps um, with this rose. Because what I want to do is I want to continue on with the rose color as the main wrap color. So two, three. Actually, we're going to go with three. And then what I'm going to do is get my line here to where I can tie off this rose color and secure it. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. All right. Now I'm going to secure this rose color. Pull my line tight, but not all the way. Okay. I got it where I want. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and loosen up my spool. And then I'm going to cut this fuchsia color. I'm going to take this fuchsia color and I'm going to pull it tight on my line. Sorry. Take my burnishing tool, burnishing tool, excuse me, pack it in there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that rose color through. Tighten it down a little bit. Like that. Now what I want to do, I'm going to, you see back here in the back, I'm going to take this fuchsia color off, which I'm completely done using now. I'm going to take my 313 rose color that I was using, I did that inlay with for that fade wrap. We're going to put this on the wrapper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and we're going to start wrapping. This rose color. Now, I'm going to cut that tag I had from that uh, rose color from when I was working with it. The next thing I can go ahead and do is cut that tag right from that fuchsia color that we started with. I'll give a couple more wraps with the rose. We'll cut that. Now we're just going to get some good wraps on here. And I think what I'm going to do, again, we're going to measure. We did a half inch for the first time when we went by with the fuchsia color. So we're going to measure. And so now I want to measure from that one line. And we want to go a half inch. And so that's where I want to come in with uh, the third color, which will be um, the raspberry. So that's where I want to introduce that one at. So let's go ahead and tighten this down.
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of this um, third and final color, which is 316, um, is the color number, uh, and the color type is raspberry. So now we're going to go ahead, cut that piece of raspberry. Now we're going to go ahead and lay that color down and get it secured. All right, now we're going to lock that down uh, with this rose, get a few wraps until we get to that half inch mark that we created. Again, you can use any spacing you like between them. I'm just using a half inch to give us, you know, some area to work with so you can see it. Um, but of course, you know, if you made the spacing smaller, uh, meaning if you did shorter spans of the color, uh, you know, it's going to have a, a really different fade look too. I mean, it's going to be a fade, but it'll be shorter, tighter looking colors. All right, so now that I've got that um, raspberry locked down with that phone or that uh, rose, excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and make one pass with the raspberry. And we're going to take our line. And we're looking for four passes. That should be three. And that should be four. And you can see that's a very, you know, very subtle change in the color there. So now we're going to come back and we're going to make two passes with the raspberry. And remember the key here uh, when you're making these wraps is to come you know, towards you, back around and over the top, and then over your working line right here. Pull that in and make your pass. Tighten that down, your burnishing tool. Okay, so I'm going to back it off now because remember the first one we did four. This time I only want to do three. So I'm going to go back and just double check my work. Yep, so one. Two, three. All right. Now we're going to come back with the raspberry and we're going to make three passes.
Now we'll back that off. Bring our line around. Secure it. Pack the thread, but let's back it off and double check. All right, so now we're just going to make two passes. One, two, and now we're going to come back and make four passes. All right, and back this raspberry off a little bit. All right, now we're going to back it off to just one pass um, with the rose. So well, that's one pass with the rose. And now what we want to do is take the um, raspberry and we're going to make a few passes over the top of this. Put in my line to secure it when we're done. I'm gonna pull my line just a little tight, not popping it all the way through. I'm going to come down and cut that working end of this rose. Pack the thread. All right, and we're going to take that working end of the rose, pull it up to the top where it's tight, lock it down. And then go ahead, pull, give it a nice little tug, pull that working end of the raspberry out of there. And then we'll repeat, do the same thing. We'll take off the rose from the wrapper, come back with the raspberry, put that on there. And then the same thing, we're just going to go ahead, take some of this raspberry. Now I can cut a couple of my working ends off. I'm going to cut that working end of that raspberry off. We're going to go ahead and come back and cut the rest of that working line of that rose off.
And this is my res, oh, excuse me, yeah, my raspberry color. I'm just bringing it up to the top. Make a few more passes to secure that down. All right. Then we cut off the rest of the raspberry working end. We take a measurement. Again, I'm working, um, I was working with a half inch. So I'm going to go a half inch from that one mark. And then now we're just going to go ahead and wrap that raspberry all the way down to our half inch mark. That way everything's symmetrical, if you will, measured out. Oops, overlapped a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out our white tie down thread. Give it a few wraps. Give it a little tug on the line. All right, now I'm going to come back and we're going to take that tape off. We're going to cut these two pieces again. When I'm cutting that line out from a um, inlay, I'm going to take my razor blade, lay it down. Take my line, pull the line, create that small gap. Create that small gap that you see there, make the cut. Come back with a burnishing tool. And it's gone, same thing here. Lay my razor blade down, we'll create that gap. Burnishing tool, and then that's it. So that is a sequential color um, fade wrap. Again, those colors are 307 fuchsia, 313 rose, and 316 raspberry. Um, and that gives you, you know, a great idea of just like by taking the same colors, but different shades of that color um, and creating a fade wrap, you can come out with some pretty um, unique looks. So, hey, I hope this helps. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you got something out of it, please feel free to share it. Make sure you hit the like button. Um, and thanks for watching. Make sure you guys watch this next video here. Until next time, guys, take care.